Jonah Jackson, the Ohio State guard. I know you're probably thinking to yourself right now, why the hell am I watching a draft profile for a guard who's going to end up on day three of the draft? Well, it's because he's one of PFF's favorite interior linemen in the entire draft. Let's get to the pros. The first thing you notice with Jonah Jackson is his hands. They are absolutely fantastic. Whether it's in the run game or the pass game, he keeps them tight. His placement is excellent, and he gets inside guys' shoulder pads. His short set is extremely consistent. He gets on guys right away and ends reps in pass protection right at the line of scrimmage. He has earned excellent pass protection grades each of the last two years at Ohio State and at Rutgers and allowed only 17 pressures on over 800 pass blocking snaps over that span. Now, a lot of guys are productive in pass protection in college, but what really moves the needle and why I really believe in Jonah Jackson in this draft class is because of his balance. Even when he loses, he is still hanging on to blocks, still trying to push guys past the pocket. You're not getting, you're not seeing reps of him completely swam, completely out of position, falling on his face. That's not Jonah Jackson. So that's why we love him in pass protection for this guard class. Now let's get to the cons where you can see why people wouldn't be in love with him. He does not move the line of scrimmage, not a people mover by any means, only 306 pounds, not your true power guard. And if you're not moving the line of scrimmage at the college level, chances are you're not going to be doing it at the NFL level. So he's probably limited in that regard, not going to be a crushing run blocker by any means. And he doesn't have exceptional athleticism, not quick out in space, but I think he has more than enough athleticism. Those are not big qualms at guard because it's not an athletic necessarily based position. My player comp for Jonah Jackson is none other than Josh Sitton, the former Green Bay Packer, easily the class of the early 2010s in terms of pass protection in the NFL, went in the fourth round himself, was never a people mover, never a plus, you know, super value add in the run game, but in pass protection, you just could not get around or get through this guy. That to me is what Jonah Jackson offers. Both had not the ideal body type for the guard position, but I think both can get the job done. So the bottom line with Jonah Jackson is he's PFF's favorite pass protecting guard in this class. The fact that he's done it at two different positions, at right guard back in 2018 and left guard this past season, and then at two different schools, Rutgers back in 2018, Ohio State this past season, only makes us like him more. You want to get rid of me and get back to more great PFF YouTube content? All you have to do is push that button right there and subscribe. Thanks for watching.